I really want to bring uh, Newman's message unto you. And I will pray for you so that the, the glory of the Almighty God will overshadow you. Numbers 6, chapter 22. I mean, Numbers chapter 6, verse 22. God spoke to Moses and uh, asked him to instruct Aaron on how to bless the people of Israel. They should say, May the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you grace. May the Lord lift up his face upon you and give you peace. And uh, he said, the moment this prayer is said upon the people, the Lord will bless them. Now, I want to analyze that prayer before I pray that prayer for you. May the Lord bless you. What is blessing? Blessing is the power of God spoken, I mean, uh, 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 released through spoken words. The power of God released through spoken words. The opposite of blessing is curse. If somebody curses you and that curse rests upon you, then you are in trouble. It is a spoken word. But every detail of what is said in that case will come to pass. I know a boy that, that, that struggled all the days of his life. The day he met me, he told me that nobody can ever have mercy upon him. And that he will eventually become a mad person. I said, why? He said, I should allow him finish first. He told me that his father is a madman. Oh, that, by that, that time, a, a madman. And so the father's father. Okay? That is the grandfather. Why? Because... Uh, some generations back, they had four, I mean, eight men born of a woman and they became evil and they killed a pregnant woman and they cut off the baby in the womb. The woman cursed them. So they grow and they have wives. If you marry, your wife will give you female children and at the end, you will have a male child. The moment that male child comes, you become mad and all the people will be suffering. The boy said that that is the fate. He has. Now, it was a curse. A curse. A woman cursed her. Or, I mean, cursed the family. The opposite of curse is blessing. Blessing is a spoken word. You just say something on behalf of God. And the power of God will back it up. And then bring blessing into your life. Alright? Number two, he said, may the Lord keep you. Yeah? The blessing of God makes rich and has no sorrows. But let me tell you something. If the Lord blesses you and the Lord does not keep you, then the enemy will pick it away from you. There is no blessing that lacks God's protection. Blessing ordinarily attracts envy, struggles, and the battles. Do you understand? The moment the anointing came upon David, his battle started, but the Lord kept him. That is why the Lord will bless you and the Lord will keep you. The next key word there is grace. Say, may the Lord lift up his face upon you and give you uh, and, and give you grace. Grace is the power of God that helps you achieve what you cannot achieve. Grace is also the favor of God unmerited. You understand? Grace of God can come upon you and lift you upon his wing and it take you to where God wants you to be. Another key word there is peace. The peace of God is shalom. Peace, shalom. That is things happening the way they ought to happen. All right? Blessing you at the right place, at the right time, at the right people, and give you divine speed, what we call kara. Kara, okay? The kara. So the shalom of the Lord will come upon you. So this is the prayer I want to say to you in this new month. And it will follow you wherever you go. Child of God, believe me, the Lord has a plan for you, okay? If you are in Christ Jesus, then this blessing will follow you. Even if you are not in Christ Jesus, the Bible says that Jesus is at the door of your heart, knocking, knocking, open door for me, open door. I want to come in, I want to help you, I want to lift you, I want to bless you, I want to lead you, I want to help you in your life. Child of God, this is the blessing that is coming your way right now. Okay? Blessing, power of God through spoken words, grace, power of God that helps you achieve what you are not capable of achieving on your own or favor or merited. Okay? It's coming your way now. Peace. That is uh, the shalom of God. Peace entails prosperity. Things happening the way they ought to be and without any interruption. So right now, child of God, I lift up my hand upon you and I pray, whoever that listens to this message and whoever that is listening outright, I pray that the Lord will bless you and may the Lord keep you. May the Lord bless your going out and your coming in. May the Lord bless your life. May the Lord bless your health. 
May the Lord bless your endeavors. May the Lord bless your marriage. May the Lord bless your family. May the Lord bless your children. May the Lord bless your communication with people. May the Lord bless your relationship with people. May the Lord bless everything you do. May the Lord bless your sleep. May the Lord bless your going out and your coming in. May the Lord bless your spiritual activities. May the Lord bless your giving. May the Lord bless even the stretching out of your hand. Everything you do, may the Lord bless it. And may the Lord keep you. May the Lord keep you in the day and in the night. May the Lord keep you. The sun will not smite you by the day, nor the moon in the night. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord keep you away from evil and danger. May the Lord keep you from hoodlums. May the Lord keep you away from the kidnappers and from the armed robbers. May the Lord keep you from away from accident. But the Lord keep you away from evil men and the evil powers. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord himself keep you. And may the Lord lift up his face, smile upon you, and give you grace. May the grace of God give you the ability, the grace that will make you to prosper, the grace that will make you to be fruitful, the grace that will make you to grow spiritually, the grace that will help you in your marital affair with your wife and with your children, the grace that will take you to all parts of the world, the grace that will help you. I mean, that aspect of your life that you are struggling with, you need grace. And I pray that the Lord will give you this grace. May this grace go with you, okay? You make money, they fly away. May the God give you grace to hold your money. You don't make money at all. You don't see it at all. May the God give you grace or to make money. You marry, you'll be in trouble. May the Lord give you the grace that will help you in your marriage. Your children have abandoned you. May the Lord give you the grace to live peacefully with your children. May the Lord give you grace. Okay? Every aspect of your life, there is grace that is responsible for it. I pray that this grace of the Lord will come upon you. And may the Lord lift up his face upon you and give you peace. Let there be peace in your heart. Let there be peace in your life. Let there be peace with your, in your marriage. Let there be peace in your family. Let there be peace in your community. Let there be peace in your, in your, in your clan. Let there be peace in your community. Let there be peace in your yard. Let there be peace with your customers. Let there be peace in your marketplace. Let there be peace in your office. May the Lord give you peace. May the Lord give you peace. Child of God, I don't know what the enemy is planning, but I have something for you. What God is planning surpasses what the enemy is planning. Then I lift up my hand upon you and I pray, may the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and may the Lord give you grace. May the Lord lift up his face upon your life and give you peace. And may the peace of God that passes human understanding keep your hearts and mind in the knowledge of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Child of God, this is the prayer. I am sure that this month will be your best month so far. No power, no demon, no darkness will be able to uh, 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 stop this blessing. God will pervade you. God will surround you with this blessing wherever you go. I pray that you will believe this prayer and it will surely work with you. The Lord Jesus is in you. If you have received him, he is in your life. And I'm sure he will perform every word that I have spoken in his name. He is in me. Okay? If human beings hear what spirit says, then there is no need for my mouth. But so long as we don't hear what the spirit says, that's why God comes and he lives inside the human body and he speaks through human mouth. So whatever thing you may desire, the grace to do it has come. Are you barren? The grace to conceive this moon has come. Are you poor? The grace to prosper this month has come. Are you in trouble? Have cases in the court? The grace to win that case and then stop that case has come. Are you, are you, whatever the grace has come, you are, uh, uh, you've reached the age of marriage and not married, the grace to marry has come. You want to travel abroad, the grace to travel abroad has come. The Lord will give you the grace. You don't have the ability, you will get it. Madinko, Adewisi, Nkemwelisi, Adadinko, Nkedinko, the grace. Whatever thing that you are passing through in your life, the grace has already come. Believe it, receive it, child of God, and it shall be well with your soul. All right? Then if you have not received Jesus Christ in your life, receive him right now. Just say this simple prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for saving me. You died on the cross so that I shall be saved. You took away the penalty of my sin so that I shall be purified. Now, 
I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Come in, Lord, and live inside me. My body becomes your body. We will become one. Thank you, Lord, for delivering me from the power of darkness into the marvelous light of your kingdom. From now henceforth, I am your child. Thank you for saving me. Amen. If you have said this prayer, child of God, I am sure the Lord will cancel your name from the book of death and will keep you in the book of life. And I pray that the enemy will never have anything to do with you again. May you never backslide again, no matter the power of the temptation. May the Lord guide you away from them so that we meet at last in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, help us share this clip. Like it. Make comment so that the uh, uh, Facebook brain will be able to spread it. Okay? Thank you, child of God. God bless you in Jesus' name.